Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Nina Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch. So in the previous video, we finally ventured off into Ding Dong Dell a little bit, and learned some more mechanics in the game, like the errands and the whole merit stamp mechanic and whatnot, and we also... Really? You gonna charge me? Whatever. Anyway, we also... <clears throat> completed the three errands that we only have available in town so that's some that's some progress I guess I don't know if I mentioned this but every time you visit an inn in this game you always get a page uh, for your wizard's companion like I said I can't say it enough the stories are actually pretty interesting I'm not going to show them on to screen because they are pretty lengthy. But if you're into, you know, if you're curious about it, knock yourself out. Oliver? Oliver? Huh? Mom? Mom! You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom? Is this... a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him. To face him. And when you do, you'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very important to both of us but who is he and where do i have to go it's all right sweetie you're already on your way don't give up oliver no matter how hard it gets mom 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 okay that's a pretty weird dream from my mom Will do. Duh, no, we don't need to. I saved off screen. Alright, so let's go back to the boutique and ask our boutique woman. I was about to say hoot hoot. <laughs> let's see what's up with our threads. I am so happy that they made this town as straightforward as possible because the towns later on in the game, man, I mean, they are so massive that they've created teleportation spots. And it's like, really? Yay! I just realized that she's standing on a chair to talk to us. What do you think? Huh? Oh, that's trendy. You look proper sharp, Ollie boy. I have a question. Why does it look like he have on Caprice? You do a little bit too much alterations, ma'am. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna need this place to get ingredients. Which actually I'm about to show you what kind of ingredients you can buy here. Because every boutique or hootie, I'm not sure if they're called hootiques across town. I mean, across the world. But I know this one is called a hootique. And each boutique-like place sells different items that's only exclusive to that boutique so for here this doesn't really matter i'm more interested in this here 
like this bumbler honey i managed to get a lot of these dumpty eggs as well as crunchy carrots i don't have neither one of these but what you could do is buy like like for now like maybe some honey or something like that and there's a page that you'll be able to access later on in the game that will show you where each individual ingredient is at in case you forgot where you found it at like for instance if you have to forge it or buy it from a specific um boutique the thing is though you actually have to get the item in order for that to show up i'll get off more into that a bit later on in the game because i don't want to spoil too much of it but what's up how you doing can we go see the king we'll just leave that there for now Oh, why not? I want to go in there. I'm a kid. His meow just did. Oh, gosh. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, that's another thing this game is, is fantabulous for. Okay. Everything is still recording, so hopefully everything is okay. Back into the game. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, TV went black for some reason. Usually that means a signal drop, but it is recording and everything is on sync, and not to mention the commentary is fine, so I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope <laughs> that everything turned out okay. I don't want to go fishing. I went fishing as a kid. And I caught my very first fish after countless of time of trying. But I could already tell it wasn't my thing. I don't know. I was a kid and I thought coffee, like drinking coffee, was the absolute best thing in my life. And I was spoiled. I was on Florida vacation with my grandmother and she let me, my brother and I have some coffee. And, like a lot of people, it was not agreeing with my stomach. And I couldn't wait to get home. <laughs> no, I don't see no, what red thing. What red thing? Oh, okay, maybe. Um... Yeah, sure. Yeah, you got a good point, Oliver. Why do we have to go? You're smaller than us. Freddy the Fish Inspector. No, Drippy High Lord of the Fairies. How about you go? Alright, fine. Send me the dude of the dirty work. Oliver, you didn't even try. You know, you're very pushy, don't you? Can't you tell him on these? Oh, now you want to jump on the thing. Now you want to jump on the jerk. Alright, all this ripping and running. The game, I can tell you right now, it's... it's it does a very good job of doing this. This also kind of irritates me about the game, but it's still a game nonetheless, and it's a very good game. It's just sometimes it does irrelevant crap, and I am going to, well, not really. Ooh, a chest! Ooh, mine. Mine, 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 and mine. Loaf of white bread, okay. I think you need a loaf of white bread in order to make sandwiches. 
Well, obviously, you would need a loaf of some bread in order to make a sandwich, but I'm not sure if the game actually includes that or not. No, Oliver. It's like lines like that. It's like that is so irrelevant. Just grab the fish and let's go. But it makes up for it because of that. Droopy is carrying it. And it's as big as he is. Don't you see that big old fish that's just flapping around? More like splashing around like it's a magic heart on top of Drippy's head. Yeah, so can can we go see the see see the king please? Oh, well, that does kind of, like, suck. Hmm. Oh, boy. Hopefully, cause uh, we gotta, we gotta ask for a wand. And we need to get him to get off his butt and get the frickin' wand. A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one. Hmm? That's right. I yes, you and me, Algisty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize. Hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, you're me out, just the... Uh... Out with it, now! We need your wand! <sighs> One's wand. Mine. <sighs> huh? What did you say? <sighs> huh? <laughs> Crikey! That smell. Could it be? That's right, you of your Augusti. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once see. you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... Mm. Mm. Ah. It's not one's concern. Ah. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. So how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken-hearted he is, or I'm broken-headed. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken-hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? This is another thing that irritates me. 
Why did it go from voice acting to text? Yeah, Oliver, that is kind of messed up. You just can't go to the same person. And trust me, the game won't let you. I forgot all about the little telling stone. That would be nice because we're stuck here. We've reached an impasse. Can you help us out, Mr. Tellingstone? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. And when Drippy says enthusiasm, it doesn't apply to enthusiasm. It applies to any type of emotion that you have unlocked in the game out of any of the eight. Glowing brightly in green. But you can only carry one at a time. You can't carry two pieces of enthusiasm. It has to be one enthusiasm, get rid of it, and come back to get the enthusiasm if, if need be. Which sometimes it is needed and sometimes um, later on in the game you may have to get enthusiasm from Ding Don Dale only to actually give it to someone in let's say the, the third major pig iron city. We're just going to put it like that. You know, a, a distance away, a ways away. Okay, Mr. Tellingstone. Thank you for your help because this dang on Lord High Lord of the Fairies was no help at all. Okay. Shouldn't be hard to find someone with enthusiasm. So it's in the next part of town. Not surprising there, considering there's not a lot of people around here. It gets to the point in the game where, you know, mending broken hearts um, becomes kind of tedious in the game. So it's like, you don't even care what the hell the problem is. You just want to go through the text and just hurry up and fix it. Get your merit stamps and go on about your business. As tempting as I would love to just get through the text. I'm not going to do that. I also have to remind myself that I have new equipment that I need to equip onto my familiar, but I'm going to go ahead and wait. Oh yeah. Oh, what's up, Kit? Oh, you ready? You got the broom, the shield, and the pot on your head. About that lantern, can I just like take it out of your nose? What did it say? Talk to the boy with the broom and the pot on his head and the shield on his chest. Saucepan. Really? We're trying to ask him for a favor and the first thing you do right off the bat is freaking insult him? You're terrible, Drippy. Oh. Ew. Oh. 
Oh wow. So go ahead with your bad self. Alrighty then. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. At least you didn't give us a hard time. Thank you. Thank you so much. But the still spirit of get up and go. Oh yeah. Darn sure better. I'm gonna need that wand for him. You do that, kid. You do that. You are very determined. Already 23 minutes into the video, and I still have not. Well, yeah, I have. I did need the cane. So much fat load of progress I did. Said it once and I said it again. This game takes a while to actually jump off. And then you're stuck doing irrelevant crap like what I'm doing here. I think after I record this video, I'm going to do the small edits and actually watch Big Bang Theory. I have disc 2 in season 3. Unfortunately, I fell asleep during the middle of it, so I couldn't watch it all, but... I have one more day off, and I have a couple hours before boyfriend arrives. I figure, why not? I love that show, by the way. I have seasons one through four. I'm trying to catch up. I haven't watched any of the new, the new episodes, though. Hey, Garfield, you're not doing anything but just laying there, you big old oof. I just find it hilarious that the humans, you know, like that guard right over there, protects the frickin' cat. Like, it's a frickin' cat. I'm just saying. What am I doing? Oh, get hard. <laughs> I was not paying attention to the text. It's like, I don't really pay attention like I know what I'm doing but for a second I kind of spaced out so do you think it works let's see shall we hmm what the devil was one up to your meow justy please tell us you're back to your old self yeah why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Majesty, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Yes, your Majesty. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hmm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. Yeah, so, uh, what do I claim? Yeah, I want that wand. Give it to me. We did. And you got back up on- you climbed- you ran down the stairs. More like- Ran to the tippy top of it, hopped off, came around, sniffed me, then walked right back up the stairs, laid on your little throne thing, and picked your nose. Oh, really? Really? Later on? Oh, I oughta throw some at you.
Well, no crap, King Tom. You're a freaking king. You should know this stuff. Uh, don't be an a-hole. You did that on purpose so you can squeeze a spell. I, I like your tactic, but but geez, you didn't have to insult me, okay? Like I said, I'm not freaking Harry Potter. Spring lock. Spring lock is a spell that will help us unlock those the purple and the blue chests. <laughs> I guess it's not all bad. He gave us permission to shop at the weapon store now. I'm sorry. I, I just came into this world and then I got this jerk face that comes up to about my knees here to tell me everything I need to do. So look, I don't I don't have many options here, dude. And we will do that because unfortunately we are on 30 minutes. Almost well almost 30 minutes into this video. And we have made nothing for progress. Well we did, but we really didn't. Anyway, we're going to head to the weapon store in the next video, so in the meantime, you guys have an excellent afternoon, and, uh-oh, uh, I don't know which one, you guys have an excellent afternoon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.